Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we investigated a Cerberus research facility, only to find, unfortunately, the dead body of Admiral Kahuku. We were given coordinates for the Cerberus base of operations located in the Voyager cluster, and that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So, once you completed the UNC Cerberus account, um, account quest, mission, assignment, whatever it's called, you'll find that this system unlocks itself, Columbia which isn't normally here. Normally it's just Amazon and Yangtze. So if we go to the Columbia system, then we'll find a couple of planets. Firstly, as usual, we will do some kind of scanning for stuff. Where am I supposed to be doing? This should be Gromar. I like that name, Gromar. It just sounds really funny. Anyway, if we scan Gromar, we get scans of the planet revealed a derelict space station in the late stages of orbital decay. A small team was able to recover some items of interest. Among them, a League of One medallion. Yay. And additionally, if we go up to here, we get Ontaheta. That's not an easy one to say. Ontaheta. Actually, that's actually quite fun. Um, yes, if we scan that, we get a deposit of Samarium. Samarium we have not come across before. Samarium, I believe in the real world, is used in magnets and some kind of anti-cancer drugs. That's the only case I've come across it. But the business we're really here... That's wobbling. The name of... That the planet was wobbling for some reason. Anyway, maybe that's just my TV, who knows. Anyway, we're here for Planet Nepheron. It's a pleasant looking thing. Let's land on it. Nepheron is a barren, volcanic terrestrial world with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Its surface is composed mainly of sodium with deposits of magnesium. You need a weird atmosphere for a sodium... A sodium-based crust to not just completely explode. Uh, well, combust spontaneously. Anyway, we're taking Liara and Caden uh, for reasons, once again, that once we get into combat, I'll discuss, but they are immensely useful in this mission. Aside from displays of geological beauty, involving including many spectacular volcanoes, this barren world is of little interest. Entries related to Nepheron in the astronomical database are sparse. It's interesting to note that both of the worlds that you, like Cerberus, have bases on are generally referred to as being like sparse or little known or something like that. It's the kind of place you would go to hide, which is pretty cool. Anyway, you can just see on the edge of the radar to the north there is a mineral deposit, so we're just going to head up there. Oh, come on. Tease it. Tease it. Oh, this is painful. Ooh, that's bright. Fuck me. Anyway, if we come down here... Oh, that was a bit of a hard landing. I buggered my top right wheel in, as you can see from the display in the bottom left. Oh, well, we're not going to be doing that much combat in the Mako this episode. Uh, anyway, come down here and get some more thorium. This is our third, maybe fourth bit of thorium. We've got a lot of thorium. Uh, but I just realised I haven't actually... Because we haven't used Caden in ages, and I haven't used Liara in a while, so let's just quickly level them up. So, Caden, we will give... Right, first things first. First aid. Very useful skill, just makes medicine, just like healing powers and stuff, a lot better. So we'll level that up to advanced, which just makes it a lot better. Then we unlock medicine. Medicine basically reduces the cooldown on first aid a lot, very useful, but also gives Caden Neural Shock. I believe he's the only person who can use this ability. Knocks out an enemy and inflicts toxic damage. Incredibly useful, just for a quick kind of like mid-combat wallop. So you'll see that this episode. We'll level that up to advanced. Then we'll bring throw up to advanced as well, because that's unlocked lift. Oh, I gave it one too many by accident. I uh, didn't really want to give it another one. Oh, bollocks. If you press X, you can undo what you've done so far, but I thought it would... <laughs> Why am I failing this so hard? So when you press X to undo it, it undoes everything, not just the last point you put in. That's slightly annoying. I'm just talking shit to myself. Am I going to cut this out? Who knows? Uh, let's level up just one on lift just to get it. Let's level up Barrier a lot, because that just protects him and makes him better. And we unlock Stasis, which is a kind of cool thing, which we'll go for. Stasis basically seals off the target. You can do that. They can do nothing. They can't move, but also you can't do any damage. If there's a particularly powerful foe, or like a leader one who's giving buffs to other characters on the field, it's a good idea to just drop Stasis on them, just to kind of get them out of the way. Um, thing about Stasis, um, your squad mates will never use it by themselves. You have to select stasis to use it. They'll let, even if you have them set on like active power usage, which I do, they'll never do it by themselves because it could be slightly annoying to you, the player, and I can see that. We'll put the remaining ones in Sentinel because that just basically makes him a bit better at everything. His one is particularly useful because it just cools down his powers and makes him stronger. As for Liara, let's level Singularity up to the max. We haven't really seen Singularity yet, but we hopefully will this episode. Love Singularity, and in this mission it's so useful. And that's about it. Where did I park my Mako? 
There we go. And now if we just head down to the south, there is a second mineral deposit down there. Oh my god! Right, you might have noticed this from little scenes I cut to while I was on the way home of here. Nepheron is one of the single most annoying planets to navigate in the entire game, because it's all spiky, and all the mineral deposits are nestled in the most arsy places imaginable. But yeah, I'm going to head to the south, and I will see you there. Or not. Oh, what the hell? Ow, ow. Oof. So, up here is a deposit of platinum. Well, that looks really weird. It looks like it's just kind of been plonked there. Oh, there, the texture finally loaded. I've talked about the texture pop in before in this game, and it's noticeable in the minerals a bit where suddenly, when you've been standing next to them for a few seconds, they suddenly get a lot higher quality. Anyway, that's a deposit of platinum. I believe our first deposit of platinum, which is kind of cool. Platinum used in... Jewelry, that kind of shit. Actually, it is useful in things that stop cars from spewing out as much crap, called catalytic converters. That's mildly interesting. Anyway, continuing down to the south is a third mineral deposit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, what? Uh, I do even... Nope. Apparently we're going backwards now. Oh, no. Oh, and down here, as I mentioned, the final mineral deposit, which is beryllium. We've also got beryllium. Uh, beryllium. Can't even speak. Beryllium before. Not sure what beryllium does. Uh, I think it explodes if you put it in water. Oh no, it's not one of those series. I can't remember what beryllium does. I'll put it on the screen just now, if in case anyone is remotely interested. But you're probably not as sad as me, viewer. Anyway, uh, that's us done with the kind of boring parts. Well, actually, there's one more boring part uh, just ahead of us here. Ooh, a nice flat stretch. That's nice. I say flat. Flat by Nepheron standards. So, down here, as ever, with the debris symbol you can see on the map there, is a crash pod. So, with our electronic skill, we can hopefully get some cool shit out of this. Let's see. Uh, no. Not really. Radioactive rounds are a bit bad, and shock absorbers are never really useful, because you don't get physically whacked that much in this game. In reality, in this game, if you're in melee range, you're probably already going to die, so... Anyway, we're going to head up to the northwest now, to the plot point. Now, you can see it on the edge of the radar here, and when we come across this crest, you'll... Oh, pfft, nice one. Oh my god. Did not mean to use the thrusters there. When we come over this thing, you'll be able to see this badly anti-aliased crest. You will see the base down below. As ever, it's got a lot of people surrounding it, so it's best to take this out from orbit as much... Orbit? But from a distance as much as you can. My good lord. The shot on this cannon is nearly deafening with, uh, through my headphones. I can't really hear myself speak, so... Anyway, as Caden has said, all targets down. So, let's head inside the base. Where's the... Oh, where's the damn entrance? There we go. This is the underground facility, Cerberus' headquarters in this system. As ever, save. This, I'm not gonna lie, is hard. With the loadout I've got, everyone should be alright, but be prepared for this. Make sure, I have, but make sure you've got Unity. You will almost certainly need it, and just be careful on this bit. If you're not, you will just die over and over again. You just have to really kind of like watch yourself. I'm going to pretty much stay on pistols for now. As you can see, there's a lot of enemies, and unlike last time on Binthu, we've got no... We haven't got the kind of advantage of having other beasties there that can kind of draw fire for us. Oh. Boom! That didn't do much. I've been hit pretty badly. Use Medigel fairly frequently. Ow! Oh my god, where's my shield boost? That should at least buy me a few seconds. Oh, my vision's gone all crazy. What are those flashing lights coming from? Someone's got some kind of crazy gun on. Oh, it'll be radioactive rounds. Liara's looking not the best. Better than me though, I suppose. Let's see if we can flush these guys out with a grenade! <laughs> that was fun. Oh, what's this guy doing? Uh, he's a threat. Caden, stasis him. And now we see stasis. Completely frozen. Should just give me the time to heal. Hopefully Medigel will come back soon. Come on, Medigel. When that thing starts fl Oh, nope. I'm dead. Oh, I'm pressing Y. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a Cerberus Commando in the air, which means I can only assume... 
Yeah, you can't really see it, but Liara used Singularity, throws everyone up in the air. Basically, she throws a black hole and it chucks everyone around. Immensely useful move. Basically, it's really useful for these kind of crowd control situations. And we've just about actually survived this. I mean, we had a slightly hairy moment, but I'm sure we'll live. Oh, oh, nope. Singularity again. These two together, especially because they've got so many powers, are really useful. Like, um, Liara will use Singularity to throw a dude into the air. Then while he's in the air, Caden will use throw on him. And they just kind of juggle people like that. It's pretty neat. Uh, there's one more sniper which we need to get. I'm gonna heal myself even more. There we go. Man, I've got enough medigel though. Buy those medigel capacity upgrades whenever you see them, because they will save your life in situations like this. And that's all of them dead. Brilliant. That's not the actual quest though. The quest is we need to go through this bit here. <coughs> here? My god, that was a strange voice there. Yeah, I would say enjoying that kind of whole bit. Firepower, though that often works, is not the best solution. I would say the best way to handle that is crowd control kind of tactics for which Liara and Caden are pretty much the best as your kind of like chief biotics. Anyway, through here, there is not what I thought there was. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Where am I? Oh, I'm on the other side. Fair enough. Well, this is what we need to do in order to end the quest, is activate this terminal. You cautiously press a few buttons, and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. It's memory wiped, the computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. Archive files. And that's the quest complete. Uh, we've done the whole tree of missing marines, Cerberus, and Hades dogs, which is pretty cool. Now there's, in terms of actual rewards, not only did we get a bit of experience from that, but if we come into this room, this is where all the rewards are. There's these four lockers here, which all have cool shit in them, which I'll show. Uh, ooh, Lancer 4, that's nice. Uh, Avenger 3, I think that's what I already have. Hey! Now we see what happens if you fail an override. You can't attempt to override it again, you just have to omni-gel to get into it. Which is pretty useful. Now we've seen it at least. Uh, oh, we've got even more equipment. Oh my god, all of the high caliber barrels. Yeah, we have like 37 Omni-Gel, so we'll be fine. You kind of pick it up naturally, but you can also turn any item into pretty much four Omni-Gel, just to kind of, if you don't want to sell them, you can just kind of goo them. You can also get some medical stuff, replenish my Medi-Gel, and get, oh, whatever's in here, press X a few times. Ooh, like Turian armor. Another chameleon tool, that might be useful for me. Phoenix armor always looks really funny. It's that stuff Caden's wearing, that pink and white stuff that looks slightly daft. Uh, anyway, we got to level up, which is pretty mint. Um, for myself, I will go for... I don't know. Okay, while I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, let's give Caden... Give him two on a lift. Do you even lift, bro? And you will give you unlock lift and do lift. Man, all of the lifting. Uh, let's go for... For decryption. Might as well unlock first aid myself as well. Then me and Caden and they are all with first aid combined. Man, we will be medigelling like no one's business. And that's useful on this game. Uh, especially in situations like that. Because we're generally... Your squad really revolves around you. You can sort out the squad however you want. But your shepherd is really the kind of leader of it. And if, my, like mine, you are not very good in close quarters particularly. Medigel is your friend. Anyway, let's return to the surface of Nepheron. Now there's one more point you'll see, which is up to the... Well, it's on the map there, it's the question mark on the radar, but it's also on the map, which is the final point, so let's head over there. And down here, if we hop out... I think we drove over it, but yeah. <laughs> we parked on the fucker, but... Here is a mummified Salarian. No prizes for guessing what kind of artifact will be found on this guy's corpse. That was a long description. Oh, yes, yeah, because recovery does take longer. The Cerberus soldier had an identification tag for Captain Varsynth, one of the Salarian soldiers responsible for capturing the League of One. It's unclear how he came into possession of this relic. Hey, League of One medallion, sign of battle, whatever. Um, and that's us done on Neferent, so let's head back to the Normandy. I'm not going to miss this driving, I tell you. Woohoo! Wee! Wee! Oh, 360! Uh, anyway, back to the Normandy. Now, back at the Normandy, upon completing the uh, Hades Dogs mission that we just did, when you activate the galaxy map... Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. 
I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. These are classified Alliance files. I am not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. So, you can see what the kind of trade-off is here. It's fairly obvious. Credits and Renegade points or Paragon points. And of course, I'm going to go for the Paragon points because I'm a nice bloke. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. So we may have slightly pissed off the Shadow Broker, but at least we maintained our integrity. That's what matters. Anyway, we're pretty much at the end of the episode now. Um, I've done what I wanted to do. And so in the fashion I seem to have established every episode, we seem to do one side quest and one chat with a squad mate. So let's head down the long elevator. And once we're at the bottom, this time, there's a number of squad, potential squad mates down here, but this time we'll be having a little chat with Rex the Krogan. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the Genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. So there, we just got a bit of background on the Krogan and Rex and some kind of stuff like that. But you don't normally, you'll hear them talking about the Genophage and that kind of thing quite a lot, but you won't normally hear it except for in kind of situations like that. So it's nice to get a bit of background on that. Anyway, this is a kind of cool moment because now we've actually finished, for now, side quests. Oh, cool. There's Normandy's drive core. This is where, I believe, ooh, free experience. Uh, this is where Tally is here, if you ever want to talk to her. I don't at the moment, but just a cool place to end and get some free experience. But yeah, we've finished side quests for now. Next episode, we will be getting on with one of the two remaining plot worlds, specifically Ferros. So that's something to look forward to if you've been a bit bored by these side quest videos of just the same process of, oh, explore a planet on the Mako. Look at some stuff. It's going to be a bit more different from now on, so that's pretty cool. So I hope you'll join me next time for Ferros. This episode, we've successfully concluded the Cerberus tree, and next time, yep, we will be exploring the planet of Ferros. Thank you very much, and good day.